I'm an admirer of film director Anthony Mann. Um, the most viewed video on this channel is for 1954's The Far Country, actually, which is, which is interesting. But I don't think I've discussed another Anthony Mann film since then. 1965's The Heroes of Telemark is the second last film that he ever worked on. It's a British production which details the Norsk resistance sabotage of the uh, the, the Nazi um, heavy water f facility, the, the operation, kind of a prototype for development of nuclear energy actually, and it was bested by these, this Norwegian task force funded by the Allies, and it makes for quite a strong film with some gripping cinematography, and um, yeah, just a, quite, a, quite a gripping production overall I found. Not a spectacular film as such. Uh, you you know what you're getting into, and I think it would more or less greatly satisfy those who expect one of those gung ho beat the Nazis World War Two pictures. You know. Robert Krasko, the credited cinematographer, was famous for having photographed the Third Man back in 1949. And he'd been previously working with Anthony Mann on El Cid 1961 and the fall of the Roman Empire in 64. I think the Heroes of Telemark represents a terrific display of some of his handling of snow environments. I hope I've displayed this sufficiently in the screen cap. I think this film will please anyone who is particularly invested in seeking it out and watching it. Although I'm unsure if it will hold any surprises to both these viewers, I don't think they will mind, and any other audience, frankly. I don't think this is a negative thing. I watch the film, I find it comfortable. I tend to like these sort of pictures every now and again, frankly. And here is a telemark satiates me quite well, I think. Starring Kirk Douglas as Dr. Rolf Peterson, Richard Harris as Nut Stroud, Ulla Jacobson, Anna Peterson, Michael Redgrave as character credited as Uncle. The film operates with a Quite a fun cast, music by the um, conductor, composer Malcolm Arnold. It seems that apparently some of the historical accuracy of the film has been disputed, although I think that the general spirit sentiment of celebrating the actual historical events and trying to get the word out that the operation took place and was a contributing factor to this great success of the Allied forces in the Second World War. I think this sentiment comes through and is, and it, and is, it makes the film endearing to a point, at least. That's all there is to say here, I feel. Thanks all. Have a great day and night, wherever you are. I hope everyone is well. Hey, thanks again.